Hi, Assalamualaikum and welcome everyone. So, um, today we are going to look into 1.5 geometric and formal proof. So, in 1.5, things the first one is properties of equality okay so in equality we have nine properties um and uh, let's do some mind maps on these properties so for the properties of equality um it has um nine properties involving addition Addition property of equality, subtraction property of equality, multiplication property of equality, and division property of equality. So all these four properties are uh, the same as uh, the operation in mathematics that are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the other five are reflexive property of equality, symmetric property of equality, distributive property of equality, and substitution property of equality. Okay, and we know that when we are mentioning about equality, it is about equal. Okay, and the other one is transitive, and it is about equal. Okay, so that means our um mathematical statement is in the form of equal, equal sign. It has equal sign. Okay, so now for these properties, let's say we have um a, b, and c are real numbers. So for the addition property of equality, if so um please take note that it is it, it come in uh if the statement if a is equal to b because it is property of equality yeah if a if a is equal to b then a plus c is equal to b plus c so the addition plus yeah so but please take note that, that if we have plus c on the left hand um equation and therefore we should have plus c on the uh, right hand of the equation okay so it must come uh, in both sides, um, uh, plus C on the left-hand side, and then uh, plus C in the right-hand side as well. It must be balanced um, left and right-hand side, uh, sorry, uh, for the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And then for the subtraction, if A is equal to B, then we have A minus C equal to B minus C. So we have minus C on the left-hand side and minus C on the right-hand side as well. And then multiplication, if A is equal to B, then A times C equal to B times C. Okay, so we have times C on the left-hand side and times C on the right-hand side. For the division, A if A is equal to B, then A divide C is equal to b divide c so uh division of c uh, appears on both uh, left hand side and right hand side okay and then the next one is reflexive so for the reflexive um let's imagine it as reflect when we are mentioning reflect that means uh, it has object and image whereby um let's say we have a mirror in front of us so we can see ourselves in the mirror okay so uh, reflexive it must um that things is equal to that thing so if a a is equal to a if b b is equal to b so that is reflexive and then we have symmetric okay for symmetric um it can be interchanged so if a is equal to b then b is equal to a and then for the distributive Distributive, so let's bear in mind, distributive is just it function as a factorization or expansion, okay? Factor, right? Distributive is like factorization or expansion. So if we have A is equal to B plus C, that means this is equal to AB plus AC, okay? And then the next one is substitution. Substitution means substitute or replace. So if we have, um, let's say A is equal to B, then for B A's, we have to uh, substitute by B. We have to substitute B into all the A's there, okay? And then the next one is transitive, okay? For the transitive, um, let's have um, the word trans there, okay? Tran, T-R-A-N. So let's put I between A and N, then we have train. Okay, train, kereta api. 
So let's say we have three platforms, platform A, B, and C, whereby um, by um, taking the train, we can go from platform A to platform and platform B to platform C, okay, that means by taking that train, we are we can go from uh, platform A to platform C, okay. So this is the same, uh, this is the same with um, transitive property of equality. So let's say we have A is equal to B and B equal to C, that means we can have A is equal to C. Okay, if A is equal to B and B equal to C, then A is equal to C. Okay, so these are for, for the properties of equality.